Hi everybody, it's Deb from d, d Art Gallery. Hope you're all doing well today. Today I'm going to attempt a cloud pour using milk paint and I have a 12 by 24 inch canvas. My base coat is the Rust-Oleum milk paint in their classic white and also the Blick Rillic white. I will put the pouring medium recipe in the description so check there. The balance on my paints today are this is called Handmade Modern Oxford Blue and it's again the Handmade Modern 20, 20 karat gold that one is called. Here I have a combination of US uh, USA pigment it's US art quest and that the blues were uh, per blue pearl and ultramarine blue and those red colors are US art quest net full red in King art crimson and then again that was a That was a dark violet in the U.S. Art Quest. And this is a combination of three colors here for my green. It is the dark green, green pearl, and deep sky blue by U.S. Art Quest. And here I'm just showing you the, the container I'm going to mix my paint in. And here's the consistency with the gold. Just leaves a little bit of a trace. I did water my paint down a little bit. It's just going to be a um, a one dirty cup pour. I'm I'm going to be doing it kind of like a um, a waterfall pour here. I was really happy with these colors. I have quite a bit of paint here. And as you're going to see, I do run quite a bit of it off. And I'm going to be adding a little bit of my base coat there just to help the paint run. The pouring medium for my colored paints, I can tell you, was one part paint, one half part Floetrol, with just a little squirt of the Liquitex pouring medium. And here I am. Just giving it a quick torch. And you can see I do have quite a bit of paint on this canvas that I'm going to be tipping off. Again, I will list all the colors and all the pouring mediums in the description. And I am hoping to get a cloudy effect here today with the milk paint. I haven't done one of these pours in quite a, quite a long time. So I thought I would give it a try. Just taking a look at it here. Going to be covering the whole canvas. Right away, I was not happy with this area. It was like a, a dulled down purple color to me. So I did have some paint left in my cup. Thought I would just add it there and see what we would get. And it is quite a bit brighter there. And here you can't quite see it. It's a little bit off camera there, but I added the rest of the paint in the cup on that corner and now I'm doing some tipping just to incorporate that new paint I added. I was happy with some of the red but there were a few areas that I really, really was not very pleased with. There was one little area there that I did cover with a little bit more paint.
just doing some more tipping here. Here I'm going to start adding some paint that I that uh, came off of the canvas and I really like the color better than what was on the canvas so this is what I'm doing here is I'm adding it back on and here I take my base coat I just thought that I had needed to add a little more interest to this painting so that's what I'm doing is adding that white back in. And you'll see as we go along here that that really does add quite a bit to this painting. Again, I see an area that I think that I can enhance a little better by using the drippings. And if they're not too muddy, you can definitely do that. Again, adding some more of those white lines. And this is the paint, my base coat, my base coat there of that white, that's what has the milk paint in it. And you'll see in the end the effect that I got with that milk paint. And as I draw those lines, I do put them the way that existing lines were already there, if that makes sense, just to go with the flow a little better. And now I'm just tilting and incorporating the white there. And I really think this is starting to shape up. I was really happy with the effect I got with um, adding the milk paint in the in the blick white there. And here I'm adding a little bit more in. Never be afraid to play with your painting to get it to look just the way you want it to look. I'm just taking a look at it here, doing a little more tilting. I think I'm trying to pull out those white lines a little bit. You can see how cloudy they do look in certain areas. Just adding a little more in there. And I found too that the more I stretched that colored paint out, the nicer effect that gave also. And I am very pleased with that red line still left in the painting. Just taking my little palette knife here, adding a few accents, drawing some lines out. I 
Now I'm using a straw to blow those lines out a little bit, just to make them a little bit thicker. Adding more interest to the painting. Giving it a quick torch. And I believe that we're gonna come down for our close up now. And here I'm showing you the whole painting. And here is the upper left hand corner. Those effects were quite interesting there that I got. I think that is just the milk paint coming up through the other colors. And you're going to see where I did add the actual milk paint white lines. And after I did my torching, it almost looks like snow. Pretty in here. You can really see that snowy effect there with those white lines. Just taking you over the whole painting here. I was very pleased with the, with the result of this painting. Very colorful area in here. And there's that red that I was so glad I was able to keep. Again, quite a snowy area here. Really pretty in here too. I was, I really liked the effect I got. So let me know what you think of this video and give me a thumbs up if you like it and share it. Make sure you ring the bell, choose all, so you know the next time that I do post a new video. Subscribe if you haven't, that would help my channel grow. Until next time, take care everybody. Bye for now.